Take a look at this. Could this be the big green egg killer? Beautiful grill. It's from Charbroil. Hey there, everybody. It's Bill West, BarbecueTricks.com. This is the command Commander that's spelled K-A-M-A-N-D-E-R charcoal grill. And this isn't really a grill review as much as just kind of an unboxing, but I do put it into use here in a little bit, so stick around for the end of the video to see how well it cooks. But as unboxings go, this is what it's actually shipped like. It's the model number 173-02051, and not too heavy. Um, I probably needed two people to put it together. It took me about 90 minutes to put it together. This is really time lapse of what that looks like. Um, it's a brand new, they say this does everything a regular Kamado would do without compromising the experience. And the thing I like about it is, you know, the big green eggs are ceramic, super heavy, and to me they look pretty fragile. And you pay for every single expert, like these legs I'm putting on here for the big green egg, uh, I think you pay extra for it. So I think the, the price on this thing is unbelievable. And for the record, it does say two people, which means I'm super human barbecue man. So actually, when it comes to putting this thing together, you actually may, there's an interesting service that I saw Amazon offers. The price of this was 350 on Amazon, and Amazon now offers expert assembly, and so I could bypass all this for about 59 bucks. I'll send a link down below in, in the description here, but, you can have an expert assemb expert assemble the product at a time that works for you, so there's no hassles. In general, this thing was a lot lighter than I expected. I was able to handle it single-handedly, and let me just tell you a little bit about the, the construction of it. It's double wall steel that's insulated, and kind of unlike one of those big green eggs, you don't have to buy the wheels separately. You don't have to buy some stand separately. Uh, the shelving, the drip pan, porcelain grates. It's really, I mean, super great construction. Look at that, it's beautiful. That little tube there has got an interesting way to feed the air down below the grill. So it took me a while to put this thing together, but really not too bad. I was really impressed with the uh, structure of it all, like that a stainless steel shelf you see there and the lid, really heavy duty. So I really like that. Uh, officially, the weight, 115 pounds. And actually, I, I guess that's comparable to the Big Green Egg, but the thing with the Big Green Egg, I, it always makes me concerned that like, uh, the egg could break since it's ceramic. This is uh, steel, and you really don't worry about that sort of stuff. Really cool controls, uh, really pretty easy for me to put together. All in all, it really... I'm not like that handy, but uh, I've been doing some of these unboxes. It really wasn't that hard for me to put together. I was super impressed with even just me putting it together, the quality, the strength, the really sturdy construction, that stainless steel shelf is really good, the drip pans. Uh, someone told me that you pay extra for certain drip pans and stuff with a big green egg. It's really, I think, a pretty good steal for 350 bucks for this Kamado cooker. And as of right now, only a few washers left behind. Let's see if we can figure out where that goes. Actually, I did find every screw had a home, so that was a good sign at the end when uh, every single bolt and nut and everything was accounted for. So that's perfect. One thing I really liked is the air damper. I don't like that sticker that's on there. That's one thing. Why I wish some manufacturers wouldn't put a big sticker on there because that was a pain to take off. But the charcoal here that I used, Charcoal has got this new boxed whole lump wood charcoal, really good and as much for the box as anything. Anyway, the first thing I needed to do is fire it up, everything wide open, and get it up to like as hot as it can go for about an hour just to burn off any like impurities or oils and things like that that were in the cooker from shipping. I thought this was kind of interesting. This is the initial firing. You want to just uh, kind of burn it out for about an hour before you actually cook food. So I've got it, um, just about a pan of charcoal in there. It's up to about 800 degrees and 
it is hot to the touch. I can one, two, three, four, ow. Uh, it gets a little bit warm. But even down here on the bottom, I can leave my hand in there. That's pretty much cool to the touch and uh, on all sides. So uh, one point of warning I saw in the manual was when you open up the, and that's cool to the touch still, when you open up the grill, give it a second to, they call it burping it, just give it, allow it to get some air in so you don't get a whoosh of heat and burn your hands. So that's what kind of fire we got inside. It's been going for a little bit. I'm gonna lock it up. Again, it's holding 700 degrees pretty good. Wide open here and wide open here in the dampers. Just to burn things in for an official first burning in of the grill. So, so far, so good. So once I got it uh, really burning for about an hour, I did dial it way down to like one on those valves to try and get to a smoking temperature, which is about 250. So I, I set it there to get a 250 degree, and I figured I'd season up a Boston butt just to see how well it could slow smoke something like that. So here's the seasoning. I just use like chili powder, some uh, coarse salt, and I got the smoker low and slow. It really held that low temperature pretty well. Closed it up, latched it down. And again, one more note on this charcoal, charbroil, I'm impressed because the one thing I always hate about charcoal, especially hardwood uh, lump charcoal, is just the messiness. A sack uh, you drag around and just gets dirty. This is really high quality and note they do say it doesn't have to be heavy to be high quality um, lump charcoal. But the thing I like most is just its packaging in a box, that bag inside just kept it really clean. So look here, I got about 250 degrees. It's holding it nice and steady. That's just simply by getting that damper, the top damper down to just over one. And then the bottom damper, same deal, just over the one, just about the two. And I didn't, I just left it and it did hold its temperature. And after a few hours of slow smoking, really did a good job on this uh, Boston butt. So yeah, definitely can be a smoker and it can get intensely hot as well. So thumbs up for the Commander Charcoal Grill. I really like it for all types of cooking, not just low smoking. You can do really high temperature searing and low and slow smoking as well. All that for like hundreds and hundreds of dollars less than one of the eggs or one of the ceramic cookers. So I really like it. The Commander Charcoal Grill, uh, more details on that on the website, barbecuetricks.com.